so much. It was definitely a sibling showdown at MetLife Stadium yesterday and Big Brother. But again, Peyton Manning and the Broncos beating Eli Manning and the Giants. It was tough, 41-23. Uh, here now to break down the Manning matchup is syndicated sports radio host on Sports Byline, Joe Spano. Nice to have you back. You. And DailyNational.com sports editor, Mike Bako. So nice to have you too, Mike. Uh, so let's talk about that. Peyton did it again. What did you think about it? Mike, I'll start with you. Peyton and his supporting players. That, yeah. that was the real difference in this game. Not that Eli had a great game, but when you look at punt returns for touchdowns, two runs by Noshan Moreno for, for touchdowns, where was that support for Eli Manning? He didn't get anything from David Wilson. He got a touchdown run from Brandon Jacobs. I was going to say, Brandon Jacobs played pretty he well. He spent more time yelling at opposing players than he did actually gaining yards. So I think when you look at the totality of the games, Eli could not do it by himself himself. Peyton definitely had the better supporting character. Joe, let's talk about Eli. He got, you know, he threw four picks. I mean, that was unbelievable. I mean, just when you were up in the second, you know, pretty close to in the game, you know, he gets picked off. What happened? Well, bottom line with this football game, a mistake addled effort by the New York Giants, and that's been the common theme thus far mm -hmm. this season. They have a world of talent offensively, and they have the potential and the ability to be explosive. Their big problem is they make mistake after mistake, and it's led by Eli, who leads the National Football League in interceptions, and you simply can't win that way, making mistake after mistake and not being able to run the football. Do you think it's a psychological thing for him? Because he's like, what, one in what is against his brother? He's never won against his brother. Okay. I don't think it's psychological. I just think it's execution. Okay. These are physical mistakes, not mental mistakes, and they have to correct that. All right. So what do you think eventually is going to happen? Are we going to see a Manning-Manning Bowl maybe uh, for Super Bowl? It could be kind of interesting if they go back and MetLife Stadium. Is I, that I, a possibility? I, it's certainly a small possibility okay. based on these first two weeks. Giants definitely have a, a pattern over the last few years, especially under Tom Coughlin's right. reign, of starting off slow, having a good six or seven game up. run, and then falling back down, and then picking it back up when it matters most we were talking last week about what does Peyton have not have that Eli has he's got one less Super Bowl ring so that's where the Giants really make their their hay is come playoff time but right now it doesn't look like they have the ammunition as Joe was saying to make that run Joe let's talk about Seattle and Frisco real quick uh, wrap it up for us I'll tell you what we talked about Seattle last week they look like the dominant team right now in the NFC and they dominated one of their key in conference and in division rivals and they just took it to the San Francisco 49ers at home in Seattle. All right. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, much to talk about, but definitely uh, it was sibling rivalry and you know what? The Giants went down. Wah, wah, wah. Um, of course, we'll have more of this and a complete wrap up. Just go to our website, pix11.com. Time right now is seven.